Tonight, on Real Honesty Without John Ritland, it is Happy Independence Day, and I am your host, The Nervinator. Tonight on NXT, we had Dakota Kai versus Santana Garrett, EC3 versus Johnny Gargano, Chris Dijak versus The Velveteen Dream, and The Mighty versus Heavy Machinery. Also, Santana. No capes. <laughs> uh, so, we did start off with a match between Dakota Kai and Santana Garrett. Um, starting with a grapple contest, Dakota Kai tries to take the match over soon after. Um, this proves fruitless as Santana responds with multiple submission holds and a flip into a Muda Lock, which is pretty impressive. Uh, Kai breaks free by reaching the rope, starts to unleash your kicks. Uh, side note though, you know, despite being part of Team Kick, her kicks are really slow. And it's kind of weird to watch when you think about it. Yeah, anyway, after a kick to the face, she takes Santana out for the 1 2 3. I'm a little out of it today. I'm used to working on Wednesdays, and well, it's America Day. Ain't no work going on. <laughs> uh, we had a cut to EC3 and Johnny Gargano entering the arena earlier in the day. Uh, video promo with Dozovic of Heavy Machinery talking about thick, juicy meat. And then in the midst of his distraction, uh, Tucker Knight gets attacked and Dozovic seems to have gotten attacked as well. Or maybe he just dropped his phone. Um... We got a promo from Shayna Baszler. She comes out to the ring and she talks about her being the best that her division has ever seen. And so the crowd immediately responds by chanting Asuka, which is great. <laughs> she has gotten better at her promos, which is good. She's not as tedious to watch as she used to be. Uh, Danny Burch challenges Adam Cole to a match for the North American Championship. Adam Cole laughs it off a bit, but nonetheless accepts the challenge. Um, and then afterwards, we get the Mighty versus one half of Heavy Machinery. Quite possibly just the steamroller portion. Um, Dozovic. Dozovic controls the match throughout most of this whole, well, match. Um, throwing and charging through the both of them. The two of them did start using tandem heel tactics to try and get Dozovic off of his feet. Um... Including one where, uh, Dozovic, uh, or, so, I think it was Dozovic and Thorne were in the ring. Miller goes around the outside and pulls Dozovic around after, uh, Thorne pretends to be injured. Um, Dozovic does turn it around when they fail to perform a double suplex and then just flip them both with one arm each. Um, Miller pulls Thorne out of the corner, uh, and after getting beat up a lot. Miller uh, pulls Thorne out of the corner to avoid the Vader Bomb. Um, and then, after a Lariat to the back of the head, they took down Dozovic for the 1-2-3. And then we had some more promos. Uh, Bianca Belair on her honeymoon talks about how all the other women are qualified to be number one contenders, and by the time she gets back, she she hopes that they've gotten up to, up to snuff with her. Uh, Kyrie Sane challenges Vanessa Bourne. And then, we get to one of the uh, great match of, matches of the night, which is Velveteen Dream versus Chris Dijak. Dijak dominated the first part of this match, uh, being cockier than Velveteen Dream, which made Dream really pissed. Uh, Dijak evaded and countered almost everything that Dream had to offer, and then grabs Dream and shouts, TIME TO FLY! And then throws him behind, throws Dream behind, by, behind him. Uh, then Velveteen starts losing his absolute shit by laying an onslaught on Dijak. Uh, but of course, uh, after ending the assault with a neckbreaker and a leg drop, Dream gets smacked around by Dijak. And after another beating, ends it with a turn, uh, with vicious tornado boot. Just whack! Oh. Uh, Dream turns it back, uh, back to him by slamming Dijak into the apron and then ends the match with the DDT. 
Um, I know my brief descriptions of the match and my commentary on the match here isn't a whole lot to go off of, mostly because I do want to act, you guys to actually go out and watch these, because NXT 205 Live, if you don't get the network for anything else but these two and the pay-per-views, that's all you really need. Especially if you're getting a little tired of the uh, Raw and SmackDown. Uh, but regardless, um, after Velveteen Dream won the match, before he could even leave, EC3's theme hits. Now EC3 and Velveteen Dream had a tag team during the NXT UK Championship from what they said. I actually still haven't watched it. Um, and apparently when they were tagging, as they started to lose, Dream just walked away from the match, leaving EC3 to take the rest of it. Um, so EC3 is a little pissed at Velveteen Dream, and Velveteen Dream knows that. So he takes the smart route and walks away. Uh, but then we get into the main event of tonight, and that is EC3 versus Johnny Gargamel. Johnny Gar 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 um, after a beating, Gargano tries to turn around, only be taken down the clothesline, uh, by, with a clothesline by EC3. EC3 reverses the Gargano escape and slams him into a pin with a one-handed powerbomb. Just... And... Down he goes. Um, this is the moment where Gargano's rage broke. Um, absolutely furious at his inability to conquer EC3. He attempts to put the knee to EC3, taking down three layers of knee protection, like... Why do you have that many? Dead. Whatever. Um, he misses. EC3 goes to, uh... Hoist him up on his shoulders. But, EC3 escapes and switches it over to the, uh... Gargano escape. Now EC3, being the muscled up man that he is, drags Gargano <laughs> over to the ropes to break the hold. Um, Gargano doesn't release until the four count, and as soon as they're separated, he goes back and puts him back into the Gargano escape without even moving him. EC3 immediately grabs onto the rope to get to break the hold. Gargano doesn't release for four for the four seconds. Um, EC3 gets tries to uh, you know hop out and then get in to the other side of the ropes, and Gargano takes him down with the DDT from the top rope or what's the middle rope? Anyway. Um, Gargano takes him down with the DDT, and then, uh, bends him for the 1-2-3. And we're either seeing the beginning of a Gargano heel turn, or him kind of going in between for a moment before he goes back to being a face. And it is kind of interesting to see what's going to happen. Um, but, anyway. When all is said and done, this was a good episode. I'm gonna give it a B plus. Um... Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Uh, like the video if you like it, dislike it if you don't, hit subscribe. But uh, yeah, this has been Real Honesty without John Ritland. I am not John Ritland. I am the Durbinator. And you have a happy Independence Day. <laughs>